Hey, Tim the Faithful, he's right here at Ranger Stock 2022, and I have the pleasure of sitting next to the lovely Space Star Screen author, author of this great book, The Secrets Within Me, the beautiful, the lovely Liana Ramirez. Hi, guys. Hello. Liana, Hello. I promise I won't faint this time. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We're good. Ooh. Yeah, because I was, Ooh. no no joke, folks, I was hyperventilating. Outside. <laughs> I didn't have a bag to blow in, but I was just like... I can do this. Fight. I can do I don't this. Fight. I don't okay. fight. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So first off, Leon, I gotta ask: yellow or purple? Which, which do you like more, as Roxy? I have to go with purple. Purple is my favorite color. Yes. Um, it was mm -hmm. before the show, and it's continued to be after the show. It really has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of us were debating, especially on the Ranger recap: is it yellow or gold? It's um, since you're a corrupted yellow ranger, I was kind of leaning more towards yellow. It so. is. I think technically what the producers were calling it was yellow and that's so that that's what we went by was yellow. Okay. So there you have it. Yellow. <laughs> there you have it. And so, um, uh, speaking of Roxy, what was your favorite thing about being Roxy? Great question. Um, my favorite thing about Roxy was how much fun, um, so as an actor, it's awesome having a character where you can be super creative. And it felt like I was doing improv all the time um, because I, I would go to set and I would make all these choices like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. And that was like the most beautiful part of it because I could just easily be super fun and bubbly and excited or just be like, I'm going to kick your butt. Like, I, like there was just a contrast and I just never knew what I was going to choose. And I think that what's made that's what made her so much fun to play. You did look like you were having a lot of fun I had with a it. Ton of fun. Yeah, and it's good to play a villain. You know. Oh, or, it's so good to be bad. Like it's yellow, crazy good. A yellow ranger is good, but you know, bad girls are hot. <laughs> and I love a woman that can kick my ass. <laughs> hey, he knows what he's into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So switching switching gears, Liana. Yeah, I know everybody's asked you about Roxy all weekend, but let's talk about the secrets within me. So. What inspired you to write The Secrets Within Me? So as a kid, I had a really hard time reading. Right. Uh, I actually had something wrong with my eye, um, and it prevented me from basically reading at all. Oh, wow. um, I would get homework assignments where, you you know, when you would get assigned a book, like, yeah. like each semester, and you'd oh, be reading, reading it with assignment. your class. Yeah. yeah. And so you'd have to, like, read a chapter for, like, a couple of days, and the next class period, you'd have to, like, turn it in and answer mm -hmm. a bunch of questions. Right. So my friends would get their homework done in, like, 30 minutes. They'd finish the chapter, and then it would take me three or four hours to finish the chapter, and oh, then I wow. couldn't get to the rest of my homework. So eventually I started giving up. Um, just completely giving up on reading. And then all my friends would get in, like obsessed with Harry Potter or Hunger Games or Percy mm -hmm. Jackson. And I felt left out. Like I felt like I wasn't <laughs> part of the club. Like we're obsessing and like always talking about these stories. And I was like, dang it. Like I want to talk about these stories too, but I can't, I can't read. Um, and so I got so upset that I decided I'm going to make my own story and I'm going to escape into my own universe because I was butthurt about it. <laughs> and so that's kind of how... The story started, I was nine years old when I came up with the original concept for it. Um, and it was something I could never shake. The story just meant the world to me. And as I got older, I couldn't keep it for myself. I knew other people would enjoy it. And it became a huge dream and finally got it published. Um, I think about a year after I did Rangers, I was 21. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been such a joy in people's lives. It's doing really, really well, which is crazy to me. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. I couldn't read. So I <laughs> turned to writing as essentially the big summary of it. And that's mm -hmm. how I was born. Yes, well, I can't wait. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, uh, I hope there's a sequel coming. There I is really a hope there coming. is. There I really is. hope there is. I won't ask you to divulge because I want to be surprised. <laughs> Um, won't divulge anything, but I'm super proud of it so far. I think my writing is getting better. I hope it's getting better. Um, but yeah, so far, very proud of the, the addition that's going to be happening. Yay. <laughs> yeah, day one purchase for me. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Now switching gears back to acting. Yes. You did a great horror movie back in 2020. It was on my uh, Halloween list. I watched. All, I like watching a lot of new horror movies that I haven't seen yet, and the and the good stuff. But I like to get the new stuff out of the way to be surprised. And you did a great horror movie called Starlight. Thank you. It's it. Uh, you did a great character. You basically were the final girl. Not to give too much away, but you were definitely channeling that Laurie Strode, Sydney Prescott yes. feel. 
Would you ever do more horror, more act, more like that? I would love to do more horror. I think they're super fun um, mm-hmm. to be an actor, and I hate watching horror movies because I get <laughs> so scared. Mm-hmm. I just can't do it. But there's something different about being a part of it. And I don't know, someone who genuinely gets so scared in real life, I think that works really well as an actor. Like, hey, you're going to get real reactions out of me. So, yes. well, the, well, yeah. the, well, the reason I ask is a lot of uh, former Rangers, uh, Serena Vincent especially, yes. uh, I believe Anna Hutchinson did some horror. The Rangers seem to find a, a second life in horror. And I was just thinking maybe Leon Ramirez could find that, that second maybe, life too. Maybe, maybe. I mean, yes. I'm always down for kind of whatever project is thrown my way. Yes. I would love to do horror. I would love to do more action in the future. I think that's yes. my dream to, to be a part of like a huge blockbuster action movie. Like it just yes. sounds so much fun. Yes. Um yeah. There's, there's always horror. I'm down for anything. Dramas, yes. r- like mm-hmm. rom-coms, who knows? Like I just, <laughs> yeah. I love acting and I love a challenge, so I'm yeah. open to a variety. Yes, that, yes. Well, horror is the most cheapest and easiest to make, so. <laughs> that indeed it is. <laughs> yeah, so the door's always open for door horror. The door is always open and yes. it'll be fun. Last but not least, what can we expect from you, Liana, down the line? I know you're getting married soon. Mazel tov. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm getting married next year, which I'm. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you like how it's My happened. broken heart will mend in time because I was, I was, my heart was broken, but I've had time to get over it. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's like happening, which I'm like, what? Um, so things in the future, I'm always on social media. I, that's become like a huge part of my life. I'm mm-hmm. always working um, to create more content, create more fun content on my channel. Mm-hmm. I'm on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, you can just look up my name for those who might be interested. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on TikTok, um, Instagram. I do so much on those platforms. Yeah. Um, I notice you're not on Twitter much anymore, and I don't blame you. It's falling apart. I don't really. I, I sit, there's, it's just kind of like um, people get into arguments all the time. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm, I can't do that. No so, arguments here. Um, <laughs> it's a little stressful. <laughs> it so. is. It is. I don't blame you for leaving. It's yeah. Thanks, Musky. Thank you. You're doing a bang up job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm doing that, and mm-hmm. then working on my second book. Yes. Um, auditioning, doing all that. Um, yeah, wedding planning's turned into like a second job, which is hilarious. <laughs> um. So yeah, I keep, I'm keeping myself busy. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. And yes. any more updates and future projects will be, of course, on my socials. So yeah, follow me there for sure. Yes, we'll put that in there. Yes, so Liana, I can't thank you enough. Dream come true. Biggest Beast Morphers fan. It's big, biggest Roxy fan gets to interview Liana. You've made my day, my life. Oh, you're so you sweet. Thank I can't you. Thank you enough. This thank has you. been so fun. Thank you, Liana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave you alone forever now. Oh. <laughs> until then, until then, stay tuned for more Ranger Stock content. I'm Easy Rider, reminding you that the fan sub will never die. Later. Yay! Bye, guys. Bye.